hey there everyone back again with another video and in this video we are going to move forward in our flutter application development series and in this series basically what we are going to do we are going to create a to do list app okay basically the main motto of creating this app or this series is that is to show you how we can do a network call in our application how we can do all that get post delete methods in our flutter application okay so <clears throat> basically what i have done i have just created a application um, random application and it's installing in the you can see that it's installing in the emulator so let it install and then what i will do i will start creating the application basically i will be creating apis also okay so my whole application will be based on node.js <laughs> one sec <coughs> yeah my whole backend will be on node.js and um, you can basically try try to add all that authentications also so that you can use your this application on multiple devices using a login or logout i'm just adding a simple thing you can add that functionality if you want okay so uh, in this video basically i will be just creating the ui for our application and after that what we will do we will start creating with our main stuff so this is the boilerplate code and this is the ui come on yeah you can see that it's increasing so let me just remove each and everything that we have okay so removed each and everything and now what i will do i will create a stateless widget with name of my app inside this there it will be a material app material app inside this firstly we will do debug check show banner as false and then we will give a title to do list okay <coughs> and just after that what we will do uh, we will just go with the home and home will be home page and uh, we can also create a route but currently i am not doing that okay and we have to create a stateful widget so a stateful widget its name will be home page the name exactly same as what you have given here and now we will create a safe area safe area inside this safe area we will have a child and it will have a scaffold inside this firstly we will add a app bar app bar just a random app bar with a title and it will be text so to do list and the center title i will set it at true and uh, elevation as zero and then what i will do i will just create a body it will be a column okay column and inside this firstly what we will have a flexible and the child will be text form field okay and then we will have a expanded and uh, this will have a list of items that we will be creating okay so firstly i will do list view dot builder and uh, just after it what i will do i will create item count as 20 item count as 20 and then item builder it will become context comma i it will return a list style inside this list style there will be a title title will be text 
to do list title then we will have a sub title it will be a text it will be description then we will have um, trailing it will be a icon button inside this firstly icon icons dot trash so that we can delete it <coughs> yeah delete and then we will have it on pressed we are doing nothing currently okay so firstly let's save it and see our application okay so you can see that we have elements like this and firstly what we'll do we will add a flex and it will be of nine okay so we have a flex like this and then inside this what we will do we will have a decoration input decoration and inside this we, what we will do hint text it will be uh, what you can say search we can add a search also okay and uh, after this what we will do after this column we'll add a floating action button floating action button okay so on press we will do currently nothing and then we will have a child icon icons dot add okay yes so this is something that we will be going to create okay and the point we will click on the items it will delete that and uh, then we can add one more item like uh, we can add two rows currently i'm not doing that okay so this is the thing that we will be doing so this is the ui and from tomorrow what we will do is i will create the apis and then we will just integrate it i, I will just take a one series on creating apis so i will be creating each and every thing that we will be doing and then what we will do we will try to integrate that in this application so that's all for today thank you have a nice day